Hi guys, Angela back again. I'm here to show you yet another recycling tutorial. So today I thought we would have a look at some of the envelopes again that we get in the post. I'm going to show you some various options for that and going to make up something that's really pretty to go into our journals. So I'll have a show a show you quickly what I'm wanting to do. That's what I'm I'm planning to show you on on how to do. So um this is just an envelope. It's got a journal tag in there. Um and then I've used bits of recycling um, board here and these all, this is an envelope that I've got through the mail that I've, um, I was going to say tarted up <laughs> to make it look pretty to go into our journals. All right, so let's have a look at that. Oh, and it's covered on the back. So let's have a look at what we can do to make this. So the first thing I thought of is sometimes we get envelopes like this that come through um, the mail um just normal smaller envelopes um sometimes we get really big envelopes like this um now really effectively this is two of these so you could either use something like this or you could take something like that and cut it in half so if i had to fold this one in half um use the, the lovely bone folder you could get two of these so this one effectively is as wide as an A4 piece of paper. So I would say this is an A5 envelope, really, and 16 centimeters wide. And these are A6 envelopes. So I would imagine, if I'm correct, these are 11 and a half by 16. So two of those would come out of there. And then it's just a case of um, cutting those in half like that. Oh, go slowly, Angela. I think the blade's wearing. Um, not as sharp as it was. And then just very carefully get through that. So here we have two that we can use now. Oh, I've cut something up. <laughs> something I shouldn't have. What was that? All right. So there we go. We could do that. So there's some options for you. Um, now, first of all, with this one, what I thought we'd do is, um, I've got addresses and things on the front, so that's why I'm not turning it over, um, is to use some recyclable paper. Now, I don't know um, if you keep the recyclable paper, because everything I'm looking at these days, ladies, I'm seeing opportunities. So whatever I get through the mail, I'm using pretty much as much of it as possible. Now, um, I got this paper, which is a beautiful ivory colour. Um, now, it didn't arrive like this to, um, at my door. Um, it arrived a bit wrinkled because they'd used it as filler. But what I've done is I've steamed this with the iron and made it nice and flat. So I love the colour of this. It's a beautiful ivory buttermilk colour. And I thought, right, that has possibilities. I'm going to save that. So what you want to do is, is cut out a piece of paper. Um to the size of the envelope and I'll stay um, so let's just pick up our pencil I hope you can see what I'm doing and it's just a case of um, that's why I have pegs right <laughs> uses for everything um, it's just lining up your envelope and cutting out um, a size for that like that yeah um so that's what we would do oh my tummy's going haven't eaten breakfast yet i was just watching talking about breakfast i was watching the birds outside this morning um and they were little wild birds like the robins and the little tits and everything like that and um, they were chasing off um, a very brave pigeon that had decided to come and have some of their breakfast that I put out in their little feeder and um, gosh they make a lot of noise for things that are that big fighting off something that's that big they work in packs and I tell you that pigeon had no chance it was it was intimidated so it left 
Right, now I have stuck one on here already, but I thought I'd stick another one on because, as you can see, you can see some of that through there, um, and I don't want that to come through. So this envelope has got an opening somewhere. There it is. Um, as you can see, it's an, an, a used envelope, and I'm going to stick that again on there. Obviously, you could use a thicker paper, so it's all up to you. Um, right, so we just put some glue stick on there. If you're not going to stitch, um, then make sure you use a, quite a sturdy glue. And then um, you won't have to stitch this. But because I always do stitch, because I'm just in love with it, I like the effect and the sturdiness of it, um, I will be doing that. Right, use your bone folder. Just smooth it out. And there you go. Now that I've put two pieces on there, it's also made it thicker because some of these envelopes can be really thin. Um, but at least you're not going to see anything um, there. What is that? Oh, that's fine. All right, so there's the front. Now, you can do um, the back. And I think I have cut a piece of paper out. Have I? Have I? Yes, you can stick um, a piece of scrap paper on the back. Um, like that, straight away. Or, what you could do is, you could um, stick it on after. Now, my sewing at the back of my machine... Um, isn't as lovely as the front so sometimes I just cover up the stitching at the back depends how it looks but if your sti machine works really nicely and you don't have that problem then do it now and then you've got the stitching sorted both sides just remember of course not to stitch over the opening side yeah so you're going to go from there double stitch remember so it doesn't run um open up and it's sturdy and just go around the three sides so that's what we're going to do there now I have um, prepared one um, gosh which I've now lost <laughs> um, and what I've done is here's another it's an old envelope that I've um, received in the mail you can see the franking on it still I've covered up the front and we're going to cover up the back. Okay, so let's just see. Um, I have stitched this already, but that doesn't matter. In fact, having said that, what I should do is change the glue. So I'm going to just do the edges with the Fab Fabri-Tac. Well, same thing, three-in-one beacon. And then um, we'll go from there. I hope the weather is not too cold where you are if you're in the northern hemisphere and I hope it's not too hot because I remember um, in the southern hemisphere having summer there can be some blistering days ahead for summer so I hope you guys aren't overheating there and the weather hasn't been too cold here where I'm really in the middle of the UK um, right, let's just make sure I've got this the right way, which is this way. Where's the opening? That side, and that's the top. Right, so that's how I want it. We're just going to put that on carefully over here. So just make sure that you line it up. And remember, you don't get a lot of time to think this through with this three-in-one glue. So let's just do this quickly. And of course you can trim anything off that you um, make it all nice and smooth that is overhanging. So I do have that over here. So you can do that or you don't have to. The choice is yours. Right, so there we go. That's fine. A little bit over here, not too bad. Now, as you can see, I've jumped a step ahead, um, and I'm going to explain to you what I've done. So, we now have that beautifully covered at the back, 
and what I've done is, if you look closely, I've embossed this. I've run it through my embosser, my Big Shot, and I have embossed this folder. Now, it's a beautiful raised pattern. It gives it um, some texture. I hope you can see that on camera. Um, and what I've done is I've used, because um, I know you're going to ask me, this Anna Griffin um, embossing folder, and it's called Rosa. So that's the one I've used for this. All right, but you can use whatever you have. Um, I just like this one. So I just like the effect of it. And there, with the covering of the paper on the front and the back, we actually have a nice sturdy folder, not those, because you know, the, the ones that come in the mail from the business um, companies and that, they don't use the thickest paper. So there we have, um, a nice sturdy envelope now so the next phase is is to put on the edging um, and again um, you don't have to put this on this is a, a die cut also from Tim Holtz um, you could put flowers you could put whatever you wanted on there um, and I know I'm going to get asked this question so I've taken it out this is a Sizzix Finlitz die the number is 662 688 and what it is is you get these dies in here there's three of them um and as you see from the picture i'm going to be using that one um, but they've got some other beautiful ones that you could use as well for many different um purposes so it comes like this as you would have not would know ladies all right so uh, that's what i've used here um to oh, get in there, to cut out that from another scrap of paper that I've had. All right, so that's just going to give it a little bit of dimension, and I'm going to stick it on the side across from the opening. So that's what I'm going to do there. So let's get that down. This is a bit of a fiddly job. So. Um, Perhaps I should like paint it or something, but I don't have a surface um, that's going to cope too well with that. So you just have to enjoy me talking to you in the meantime. Right, so I, I want you all to be asking the neighbours and everybody else to save their toilet roll cores, their... Uh, <laughs> envelopes window or otherwise and they are to be pleased to be careful the way they rip them open and can they please use the services of a letter opening tool for you and all the gifting and ribbons and tags so you'll have to send out um, a notification down the street so that you have enough of everything for <laughs> all these projects that we are embarking on right i think that'll do the trick so Let's put the lid on that and turn this over. And I think I'm going to sort of centralize it as much as I can um, over the top there. And just smear it down with my fingers because that'll hopefully make it all work. And very gently with the bone folder, um, not to catch any of these bits. We have now created something quite special, really. But like I said to you, if you've got fussy cut flowers, for example, let me grab something um, that you could use, for example. Um, you know, if you had something like this um, that you could fussy cut out of a book, that would look beautiful over there as well. That would be a beautiful option. Um, or... This is another one that I've got that you could just put over there. Uh, I mean, the options are endless. I'm just giving you some different ones to think through. So I had these, so I thought I'd make use of it. All right, so that's what we've got there. Now what we need to do is, um, I'm going to quickly, very quickly, because I don't do it very dark, um, use my inking and just very lightly just go over the edges. Um, and of course you can do whatever you choose this is how I'm doing it. it just sort of gives it a light finish and I'm quite happy with that as simple and as quick as that 
you can do it on the back as well and you can see I don't do it very lightly at all it's just ever so um, soft right so now what remains to happen is we want to make this little piece here so um, today I had a comment from Annie hi Annie um, that I'm I do use a lot of Waitrose packaging and I do pop to Waitrose. They, I live really close to them. They give me a lot of um, vouchers to encourage me to come and buy in there. So when they do, I do go over there um, or if they have an offer or something. But I am an Aldi girl and I do have lots of Aldi packaging. I have, um, I will say, Annie, that the packaging is, this is all Aldi packaging. Um, over here, um, have you tried Stalin Bites, ladies, because they are really lovely. Um, and what, their packaging is no different. It's still got that lovely ivory color, most of it. So I do keep that as well. So I thought I'd use a piece of that today. This was from the Lamb Shanks. It's really not worth cooking these because they are so reasonable there. Right, so what I thought I'd do is I will measure, would measure up a little piece. And I think I've got a, a bit of a... Yes, this would work well, actually, um, if I just, that would be perfect. So if we just neaten off that end there, just trim it down. It's got a bit of a ridge, which I don't like. Um, and there's a bit of a ridge on that side because the other side that I don't use would be perfect size for a tag. So... Let's take off the bit that we don't want. All right, and then that nice smooth side there um, would be pretty perfect for what I want. Let's move it up. Take my pencil, just get a nice cutting line. And we're going to cut that off. Just like that okay so there we go so you see it doesn't matter where you shop most companies are into recycling now so it would work really well so let's just put that aside right so this is going to be the base then for for that bit over there now it doesn't matter actually whether you're using um, cardboard today or what the sides look like um, because you're not going to see the back side of that anyway so it makes no difference at all so let's just grab another scrap here um, I think I'm going to use this piece it's the month of getting rid of scraps everyone so that's what we're doing we're starting afresh um, yeah we'll just stick that on to that side um, how did I want this oh I quite like those flowers so we'll no I'm not gonna waste I'm gonna stick it over here there's a flowers here too so we stick that down again I hope that's on screen and then um, with a steady hand because it's really thick it's got a great guideline but if you're not comfortable with that use a ruler um, or your scissors <laughs> what does Nick the booksmith say I'm not your mum <laughs> right so there we go we've got that done now now you can of course stitch around there which let's do that really really quickly I'm trying to limit oh, sorry I'm trying to eliminate the amount of stitching that I have to do on camera for you because it's boring so I'm going to um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to start over here because it's going to be covered and you don't see the, the beginning bit. So let's just do a little bit there um, and a bit of a zigzag. And then a bit of a straight stitch. Right. 
clearly there. that's all the stitching I have to do today okay cut off all those bits as much as you can and that's what we are going to use for the little tuck spot there and then ever so lightly again do that Right, now all I'm going to do now is, um, is to stick on the little uh, sort of bit over here, um, like that. So we'll just take one of these, which is like one of those faux stamp things using the um, antique papery um, paper, and we're going to just place that over there like that. So let's go and do that quickly. Oops, did I bump the tripod? Oh, I'm sorry. Now, um, oh yes, another tip I thought I'd mention is get where you want it placed and then you don't want to glue past the line that you need to glue. So if you hold it in place and draw a pencil line like that, a bit darker, <laughs> um, you'll be able to see where you need to glue to. So there we go. Let's do that um, just so that you're not gluing on there and then it ends up sticking on your page. So we will um, get the glue to work. <laughs> um, go around the edges and across there, a little bit on the middle, like that. Right. And then I'm going to see where I needed to place it so it looks like it was like that there we go how's that just cut that little thread off I don't want that there we go so there we go we, we, we're looking good so far right so nearly there with that um want to put on a word so i've stamped these onto my scrap bits of paper again saving everything that i possibly can so let's just cut out one of those it's nice to have these made up and save those strips that you cut down from your journal pages Just line that up and make it the right sort of. Here we go. I'm just um, standing the edges, and then we are going to put that over here. Now, oh, that's what I did. I used a bit of cheesecloth or muslin um, a little little bit just to give it a little bit more dimension so just give it a bit of a pull like that so it's quite thin oh thin like that um, and then take your your word Place the gauze on the top, like that. There we go. And because it's so thin, you're going to have ample glue on there now. Put more on if you think you need it. And then just put that where you want it. So I think in between these flowers looks good. And then just pat it down like that. You can always put more glue on if you feel you need it um, to stick down this cheesecloth. Well, there we go. I'm quite happy with that now. Yeah, that will set in its own time. 
so sorry looking at the wrong bit there that's how we we have it so far all right now all that remains is to put my um looking in the pot of butterflies here uh oh on the top i want a yellow one so a yellow one it is i sat and cut those out last night took me an age so we'll just stick that there don't want to catch it so i'm gonna make sure that i've actually put enough on and place it so it's not going to go too much over because I don't want it to catch with whatever we're going to put in there like that. All right, so now um, we are going to put a little dot here. Come on, glue. Looks like I'm going to have to revisit the acetone again. Ever so little bit of it. There. Um, get hold of my pokey tool take one of these like this and just put that on there like that and there we have it look at that how pretty is that I hope that's in focus right so we've got a little tuck spot now made from Aldi's lamb shank packaging <laughs> and they were delicious too so tender and really reasonable right now all that remains to do here is is to stick this on top over here um, you can stick this and position it as you want it so again you're going to just do this on two sides let's just move this one out the way um, and I'm just going to go along the one side here and this side here. Make sure that you put enough glue on. All right. So that's that. Turn it over. Go where you want it. And press it down. Yeah. Now, if you're wanting to make sure it stays in place, this is what I often do because it's a thick item and it tends to want to lift just get some pegs um, the bigger ones are fine whichever you have just to hold it down there while you are going on with whatever it is that you're doing here's another one and I do have quite a few of these that I use so I'm just pegging these down to make sure it stays in place like that all right now what remains to do um is to make a card just to fit in there because we on recycling i'm using recyclable card so gosh it's looking messy let's just put that to the side quickly i'm, I'm going to need to measure it but i'm going to measure that up there with the rest of that um packaging that i had um i tore this one but that's all right um what I'm going to do is um, measure up. So I think that's just a little wide. So let's just chop off a few things here. I'm just eyeballing that. Don't want that bendy piece. And then I think I need to just straighten up these sides. That bit's torn at the top there. Page was a bit rough with this one. Um, so let's just. Do it over there then. Nice good cardboard this. Um, I hope all of this uh, packaging and, and all this recycling that we're doing is saving you on cardstock money. You know, save your cardstock. Use this. You're going to find it quite beneficial, I think. Right, so that's looking all right. I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm going to just take it off where that tear is so let's move along there and we'll just take it off right there that looks about right and i won't throw that away because i'm sure i'll be able to get another one of those bits out of there so we'll put that aside that's a nice size for journaling isn't it so let's just see here um 
that will be perfect and you won't struggle to get it in so i love that side there so i'm not worried with that um i'm going to cover up this side here so yet again a piece of paper which um i think i'm going to use this piece here which is just another scrap i've had i quite like that there yeah it'll have to be there because that corner is just will fit it in like that so let's just put that over the end there again with a glue stick or whatever glue you choose oh sorry I'll be sad when these glue sticks um, go because I got such a deal on Amazon um, with them I got a 12 pack for next to nothing on a promotion and gosh they've been fabulous and saved me on my three in one because really the three in one if you use that all the time it is expensive so i'm just going to lie my paper um, against the ruler there um, and cut this out and again over here and again over there so the scraps are getting smaller all around let's not do that let's just trim it properly right and i don't throw them away i keep everything i'm <laughs> terrible right so that's going to be a lovely journal card and I, I'm, I'm liking that very much um you can decorate that as you wish but i'm very mindful of the time that we've got um this is how i decorated this one so if you have a look you can just see i've put bits and pieces there and again oh wrong way one of those beautiful quotes life is a never-ending garden of growth and because this is a spring themed journal I'm working on I'm loving all these um, seeds of um, sentimental um, phrases that I got from Amity Bloom I'm going to quickly um, just put on a tab um, and then of course you're able to stitch that as you want so that's an example of how I've just used bits and pieces for that one there so this is going to be very similar anyway so let's just get to it I'm just going to stick the tab on I'm not going to go and do too much decorating because we've already spent over half an hour doing this but again um, cut out a tab or use uh, from a template or use one that you if you're lucky enough to have a, a whale punch which a whale tail punch which I don't have and I wish I did but I have not found one um, if anybody knows where you can get them I'd love to know but I think that they are actually um, no longer made which is a shame really so I just use um, this one which is freely available on Amazon so that is what I use um, but yeah I'd love a whale punch a whale punch a whale tail punch tab punch right so we'll use the fabric tag and put it on both sides you can use anything for a tab you don't even need to make it fancy you can just use a, a rectangular piece if i'm honest uh, i'm just thinking about how i want this right so let's put that there and there yep like that and again you could put some decoration here some flowers you could go and put another quote on here as i've said to you um, you can stitch it around you can just put some other bits and scraps and pieces around as you feel so uh, let's just see what i have that i could use for a couple of bits here um this is just another piece of paper that i've just embossed um, and used just use your hands and then I will just 
do that bit there because I'm going to put it on an edge. Um, I quite like that empty space there, so I don't want to go over that. But that looks quite nice. This is why I never get rid of any scraps. <laughs> I've got a bit of Edith Holden here. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I keep all those scraps too. So let's just see. We'll um, just break up that dark bit there. Right. So let's just stick that down. And that leaves that beautiful white space open. So we've got like a bit of light coming in. I quite like that idea there. So... This one will go second, this one's going first. I'll put some glue on that. This is really getting near the end now. I need to open a new one. But the acetone works a lark. I tell you, if any of you are having globby glue, put in the acetone, which is one of my subbies mentioned to me, and I tell you, it was a brilliant suggestion so thank you so much um, and then of course this last bit here let's put that over like that and the very last thing I'm going to do is find myself a quote here Um, live life in full bloom that sounds good to me so we'll just take that off there isn't it lovely to have quotes every day in my planner I've put lots of quotes just things to keep me focused you can write them you can print them you can make them up yourself um, use other people's sort of inspiration and make it your own i think it's good to look at that every week and have a, a saying that you can um bring into your life every day just to keep you positive and i like that so that's going there um right I hope this has given you some inspiration, ladies. I hope you, that you are going to go out and, you know, in stealth mode and raid the neighbour's uh, recycling bin on just before collection day. <laughs> I have these visions of people in black with little um, Mrs. Incredible eye masks going across their eyes in stealth mode, running down the neighbourhood trying to find what they want. Right, of course, the last thing to do, which I'm not going to bore you with now, is um, stitch around here. I stitch a straight stitch around there. And when I come to this bit over here, I do a zigzag like I have done in this card over here. So there you go. That's what I do. I hope you can see that. Just to keep both sides of the... It's decorative, and or you can do whatever you choose. All right, so that one would go in here. like that um, this one I will stitch it in a minute we had our pegs keeping this in place which has done a, a which is really a fabulous job there's no way that's coming undone okay so that would go in here So that goes nicely in there. You could even put a little label on the end of that as well. And then all that remains is putting some piece of ephemera or tabs or whatever in there. So I have this over here where I have already um, put together a couple of these. These also from Amity Bloom. Um, and I just thought, like over here, I'd put in sort of a browner one so this is tansy which i've backed onto some paper and there's some sage oh we've got cornflower i like cornflower so we'll put those back in there um and a darker one and a lighter one which i thought looked really nice um get off and then that would fit perfectly 
in there like that. And there we have another replica, slightly bigger because of the size of the envelopes that I had, of what we've done today. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, with me. Um, you've got your backs covered like that. Um, you've got a nice little journaling spot on the inside as well. And of course, on the back of these if you want. Um, and that's our project for today. So again, thank you so much. Go and collect all the recycling. Go and have a look at some of those ladies I've mentioned, like Amity Bloom. Don't forget to pick up your free Tiffany Julia printables on her. Um, you can get there through Ariel Lovely, or you can get there through Tiffany Julia on YouTube. So go and have a look. Um, and thank you for spending time with me today. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Thank you, ladies. Bye.